Let the magic begin. <laughs> Hi fellow hearts. In the last video we talked about the seven hermetic laws. Today we're going to concentrate on law number one, mentalism. Mentalism changed my life completely from the worst to the best, like I would say. And um, I want to help you to accomplish the same goal for your life. So bear with me. This topic is going to change your life. The point from which I started was this. I was sad and lonely. I had been working as a journalist until I got so heavily frustrated with the whole system and the media that I decided to never write a single word again. My ex-boyfriend had many issues himself. He was desperately disappointed. And together we were living a nightmare. Well, many years there had been no joy for the two of us. I couldn't trust anybody. And I felt that maybe some fanatics were right and we were in fact living the last days close to some kind of apocalypse. Because nothing seemed to make any sense anymore. I couldn't see any light whatsoever in this world. My boyfriend was getting more and more aggressive until he fled the scene and left me sitting on all the bills and problems that we had caused together. And this was my starting point. I had lost everything, was facing poverty, and I felt horribly lonely. Whatever your life may be, this is where I started, at nothing. Scorched earth, black ashes. I didn't know what I was doing when I started. At first, I just needed to survive. So when I was in this situation, I wouldn't dare talking to somebody about it. It was my secret that I started listening to positive affirmations. It felt cheesy and ridiculous. Like I said, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. It was much later that I found out that there are tons of scientific proofs for the fact that you can change your mind by using this, this techniques and achieve a much healthier and happier life. Easily explained, it goes like this. Your brain keeps you alive all day. It's its duty to process every single detail you're recognizing, consciously or unconsciously, at any second and to quickly decide about every move you make. Scientists have found that out of every influence that our brains are receiving at any second, it filters out the 8,000 most important ones, which means that now, now and now, we re we've received 24,000 informations that our brain processed. But there's so much more to it. There are so much more information that your brain won't ever show to you. Quite an outrageous job, right? So isn't it coherent that our brains are all perfectly trained pessimists? Isn't that understandable? I mean, they have to look out for every possible damage at any given moment. That's the focus of a normal brain that hasn't been trained yet. The usual brain focuses on the negative. Affirmations interrupt your maladaptive neural nets. And the more you use affirmations, the more those nerve cells that are firing together start disconnecting from your negative thought patterns, literally rewiring to your new affirming beliefs. Science calls this neuroplasticity. So that's the science. And there's plenty more to back up these claims. Therefore, first thing you want to achieve is a positive creation machine in your mind. Sorry, grumpy cat. No milk today or any other day. Listen to affirmations, think them, think them out loud. And do that for until you notice a change. You can write affirmations on items you tend to look a lot, like I'm drinking unity and harmony today. Or I've got this little note in my purse saying that I'm going to meditate in California. Because this is what I want to achieve and whenever I pay for something, I'm reminded about it. 
And I've got this little notebook, my book of manifestation, where I write down whatever I wish for. I've highlighted everything for you that has come true. So there are lots of highlights in this book. Because it works. It works perfectly. So let me tell you something about this. It's not about the words that you write down. It is more about the feelings that you have. When you are having a desire, trying to write it down, write it down as if you would already have it. Write, I am happy. I have whatever I wish. Let's say, I live in this beautiful house with a garden, with a nice partner, some nice friends, and my family loves me, so on and so on. So whatever it is you wish for, act as if you'd already have it and feel grateful. It's more about the feeling, to feel in advance how you would like to feel, so that the universe kind of knows what feeling it is that you long for. <laughs> So get in tune with your desires. Everything I ever wished for, like the house I'm living in with the garden, my nice neighbors, my friends, money, whatever it was that I needed at any point in my life, I just manifested it. And it works perfect. So depending on your situation and mindset, it may be taking some days, weeks or even months but wait for a good mood to crawl into your everyday life. One day you're going to find yourself being somewhat positive about almost everything that occurs. So wait for this smile to crawl into your life. And if you feel like someone new, then you're ready for step two. <laughs> Training one's awareness sounds horribly boring. You instantly imagine someone doing exactly nothing. However, this is just the surface. We're used to look at surfaces and are heavily disconnected from any deeper layer, like when it comes to modern engines for cars or your computer, your mobile. You can only touch screens these days. We are alienated from any deeper layer. This is the way we perceive this world. Very superficial. Therefore, looking at someone diving into a deeper consciousness, we can only see tedious immobility. But are you ready to literally have your mind blown? Because training your awareness means expanding your perception. You will be sensing so much more in time. You will be laughing about your eyes, ears and all other instruments you used to rely on. It starts with being extraordinarily attentive and mindful. And if your mind is already trained to think positive, everything you may explore will give you the chills. <laughs> now you may be finding yourself thinking, all right, sounds plausible, and now give us the stuff about magic, please. You're welcome. The main purpose of this channel is to teach you the basics of everyday magic. And most important today, we do need magicians with the right mindset, with the white mindset. Let there be light, everyone. Shine your brightest bulb on this planet. Become the influence that's heartbreakingly needed. Let us be change. If you want to become a magician, please choose your creations wisely. Thus, please be positive, be humble, be kind. Always perform with loving thoughts, a loving heart, and loving intentions. We're going to get into the importance of shining a light on this planet in a later video. The next video will be about how to actually do the magic. For today, I hope I provided you with uh, enough material for you to start your quest. In the descriptions, you find links to meditations and affirmations that I recorded for you. Let me know in the comments what your quest will be all about. What are you trying to accomplish? Or what have you already accomplished using manifestation and other magi magic tricks? Have you already successfully manifested something? Or do you call yourself a magician, a light worker? Whatever it is you call yourself, please let's connect. I've got plenty ideas for mass magic events that be better not discussed online. Anyways, we're going to break the spells, everybody. So make yourself comfortable and never be scared, fellow hearts. 
See you next time.